What does it mean to be aware? The very word itself can act as a powerful conduit in opening up the doors of our perceptions to reality. Our ability to expand consciousness is firmly rooted within our awareness of everything around us. To become truly aware, you must first free your mind from the confines of your physical body and allow it to flow freely across the astral plane of reality. We must finally see and appreciate the sheer beauty of our planet we call home to break from this veil that has shrouded us for so long. From the surreal turquoise waters of the tropical regions all the way to the towering glacial capped mountains, deepest jungles, and most barren deserts, our Earth is a spectacular paradise waiting to be rediscovered by the sleeping soul of mankind. It is the only home we have ever known. Instead of this profound realization, most of society exists in a dualistic world on the very edge of its own destruction, created through ignorance and lack of awareness. Manipulated by mass media through the means of fear and propaganda, society has allowed a tyrannical model of war to dominate this planet for thousands of years. This has placed a temporary veil over the realizations of our identity and past history. But just beyond this veil that holds back the truth exists an infinite universe of galaxies and planets, patiently waiting for a time when our consciousness is ready. Most people simply ignore the stars and no longer look up, distracted by materialism and a false perception of reality. Allow the wonder and humble amazement of our existence here to settle over you. The Milky Way is just one of trillions of other galaxies that exist in the known universe, whose number would exceed every grain of sand on planet Earth. Allow that staggering figure and sheer size to sink in. All of a sudden you become an objective observer and everything in your life changes. Yet here we are, surrounded by constant disinformation and distraction aimed at keeping us asleep of this forgotten perception of awareness. But why has so much been lost to us? Part of the answer can be found by looking at ocean levels, which are 400 feet higher today. Submerged beneath forbidding depths, countless pyramids and lost cities litter the coastlines of much of the world like ancient graveyards. During the last ice age 12,000 years ago, vast amounts of water were locked up in glaciers and sea ice. The truth that has been kept from much of society is that the last ice age ended because of catastrophic events on Earth, from space impacts all the way to a pole shift. The evidence for these events can be found all over the world in soil layers and ice cores, and has been recorded in religious texts in every major culture in the world describing these past deluges. Further proof of our catastrophic history can be found in the underground cities like in Darin Kuyu, Turkey, where massive caverns were carved out of solid rock that could hold more than 20,000 people. Large round stones were positioned to block off entrances to seal those safely inside. Who could have gone to such extreme lengths to build these and why? The evidence seems overwhelming and points to a forgotten time of history. So much has been lost to us that it can be difficult to piece together the real story. In doing so, we must objectively follow the evidence that remains to learn the truth, no matter where it leads. I want to provide a profound quote for you by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, which is meant to be a reassuring voice of reason when all seems lost. Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. Let those words guide you along this difficult journey of finding the truth, for once you do, it will set you free. In the early 1930s, two French anthropologists visited a remote tribe called the Dogen people in Mali, Africa. The Dogen tribe had extensive and advanced knowledge of celestial star systems with a heavy emphasis on the constellation of Canis Major and the dog star known as Sirius. They knew of precise details for the elliptical orbits of the suns of Sirius A, B, and even a tiny third sun called C. The unknown question at the time, and the most important link for proving an intelligent outside influence, lies in the fact that Sirius B cannot be seen by the naked eye and wasn't photographed until 1970 by radio telescope. 
Yet somehow this knowledge has been well known and passed down for hundreds of generations. Even more impressive is that the Dogen people speak of a third star called Sirius C that hasn't even been discovered yet by modern astronomy. This seemingly simple and primitive tribe in Western Africa somehow possessed and understood vast amounts of information about our galaxy that modern science is just catching up with discovering today. The Dogen people have retained their heritage and ancient knowledge they say was given to them by great beings known as the Nomo and passed down this vital information for generations. The most logical question we must ask ourselves is who are the Nomo? With only a few select elders chosen to hold this knowledge, they dedicate their life to its protection and lock themselves away from the world in order to protect its purity. The Dogen people went to these great lengths because they knew how important this information was and passed down this knowledge from generation to generation in isolation. In retracing the Dogen people's heritage, it can be fascinating to find out they were originally from Egypt and escaped to Mali in order to avoid religious persecution. So now, let us go back as we retrace the steps taken by the Dogen people that lead us back to ancient Egypt, where many of the answers to humanity can be found buried beneath the sands of time. We were told that the pyramids of the world, like those seen in Egypt, were built to house kings and pharaohs, yet not one has ever been found there. In Egypt, the pharaohs were actually buried and mummified at the nearby Valley of the Kings. This is an example of a very clever lie to conceal the truth about who built the pyramids and their purpose. For the truth would shatter most people's perception of what is real and forever change their view of history. The Great Pyramids of the Giza Plateau, if viewed from the air, are all aligned geometrically perfect to the three stars that make up the belt of the Orion constellation. How could this be possible unless they were made to be viewed from above. Further evidence for these ancient visitors can be clearly seen in the largest of these pyramids known as Khufu, where there are two important rooms which were built called the King and Queen's Chambers. The King's Chamber contains two long vertical shafts which align exactly with the constellations of Orion and Alpha Draconis during the winter solstice of that time period. Alpha Draconis is revered as the original North Star before Polaris replaced it in modern times. Beside the King's Chamber lies the Queen's Chamber, which also contains two long vertical shafts, which point directly to the stars of Sirius and Ursa Minor. Why would a culture have put this much work into these massive structures, so precisely aligned to these stars and constellations, if it simply meant nothing? We are taught in school that these cultures were primitive and used nothing more than hand tools. So how could they have built such wonders that are more advanced than even we could accomplish today? The evidence left behind shows that the ancient star alignments found within the pyramids are intended to honor the many worlds of the gods who came here from beyond Earth in our forgotten past. In 1945, an important archaeological discovery was made in central Egypt near the Nile River. It was during the height of World War II and the discovery largely remained unknown from the general public. To this day, few have ever heard of the Nag Hammadi Library. In our society, the greatest archaeological discoveries are portrayed to us as containing numerous valuable items and unimaginable wealth. That view is simply part of the illusion for what is really important. The Nag Hammadi Library contained the greatest gift of all, knowledge. Other great libraries, such as the Library of Alexandria, have been totally lost to us from destruction and fire from those who wanted its contents silenced. With the devastating loss of these great libraries, so too went so much of human history and all the great teachings from those who echoed before us. Much of the Gnostic's work was rewritten and changed to create versions of religious texts that seek to block off knowledge of our true selves and the important chakra centers that lead to our conscious expansion. Religion was based on good intentions, but was later hijacked and used as the ultimate form of control by the mighty Red Cross. We must go back to the pure forms of these writings to learn the truth. The Nag Hammadi scriptures and other hermetic writings bridge a gap in our understanding of so much of our history and identity. They speak about a great veil that has been placed over humanity which blocks off our perceptions and awareness. 
There are countless other writings, sculptures, and pyramids scattered across the ancient world that make up the fragments which all lead to the bigger story of our true history. From the Mayan culture of Mesoamerica all the way to the Sumerians in Iraq, the predictions made for our conscious awakening all seem to be coming true at this moment as we head into the great galactic center of our Milky Way. Scattered beneath dense jungles and towering above searing deserts, many of these ancient cultures knew they had to protect the truth somehow so that it would survive to see the light of a new time when it could finally be heard. The greatest story ever told had to be protected for those brave adventurers and thinkers of the future willing to challenge it all. Do you have the courage to seek the truth? What will your story be in the end?